Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here with my review for The Acolyte Episode 5. This episode, I would say is the best episode. That doesn't really mean that much, but it was the best episode. I do still think it had some problems, unfortunately, and I am curious you know, where we're headed uh, going forward in the last three episodes, but the action was good. Unfortunately, there were also some things I noticed even with the action, and this just comes from loving martial arts movies, and this has been my whole thing where I was like, you know, I'm not really loving the writing. I hope the action can at least satisfy me because, you know, even the first episode, I was like, eh, it was okay. It was a lot of cuts. And I feel like that's just, you know, it, I think it's just a level of experience with, you know, people, uh, certain people um, as far as like action and, and whatnot. So I noticed that for sure. Uh, even in this episode, I was like, specifically when they went to hand to hand between May and whatever Daphne Keene's character is, whose name I, I totally can't remember. Uh, unfortunately, she's dead. And so is Yord, both gone. He got a straight up fatality, which was crazy. I was like, okay, that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Um, but just going through it, I was like, all right, all in all, I thought the action was good. Like I said, there were a couple moments where it was like, all right, you know, we got a dude who, for one, is just using one hand, which in one regard is cool. And in another regard is like that uh, kind of just through the simple choreography of using one hand they have to do it where it takes him more time to go from point a to point b because he's not using like the full weight of both hands where it's just like boom it's like okay i'm over here and then you you go over that way it's not like using the momentum where like you know your hands are naturally on either the left or right side it's something you might not notice when you really do it but like in the form of action it's like going from here to here is different than if i'm just like boom because i don't have to use this arm to go across i'm just using this arm and just pulling both ways and obviously it's a lightsaber it basically feels like this and it's just one of these so boom boom is a little bit and you know obviously the weight and lightsabers all that stuff so kind of like this but in the you know the sense of all the action and everything going on obviously they're actually holding real lightsabers you know like they edit out all the um the well i guess you wouldn't even see the wires anyway but they use like physical lightsabers now so it's not just like the light sticks where it would be even lighter back in the day. And, you know, if you look at all the behind the scenes stuff, you see that they use like full on lightsabers. So that way they have the actual colors and it's even easier as far as editing and all that stuff. It's like they're holding a straight up lightsaber. So it actually does have weight, like legit weight. So even when they're practicing and it's possible that they switch to the sticks, I would assume that they don't. Um, but, you know, I could easily be wrong about that. And also you could. I mean, heck, a bunch of us have like, you know, <laughs> ultra forge sabers and stuff like that, or ultra sabers, all that good stuff. So you could get lightsabers that light up and look amazing and you still clash them anyway. But the way they were doing it, I was like, okay, it looks super cool, but also it felt oddly slow because I'm like, the dude's fighting with one hand. He's over here. There's another person back there. If I think the guy who is using one hand is spinning too much and I was like, why he could have got a hit right there, then the person behind him could have got like two hits off at least. So like there are definitely some moments and it was specifically early on. It was right before he stabs through the woman and then uses the force pull to like pull the guy onto the same saber. And then he, you know, decapitates them, which I'm like, man, show that for decapitations. But it's Disney Plus. They won't do it even in animation. They won't give it to us. But I'm like, man, this was Cartoon Network. We would have seen it. But the action was good. I just felt like there were a couple moments there. And even when he was fighting against Soul, I was like, oh, you know, he could have got Soul right there. And then he didn't. But I was noticed that even with, you know, like classic Star Wars stuff, there's things I've noticed. I always think back. The one thing that always gets me is Attack of the Clones. When Anakin got his arm chopped off, I always felt like Hayden Christensen, like, put his arms out, like, just like a second too early. And every time I watch it, I'm like, he kind of does this. And then, you know, boom, he gets his arm cut off. And I was like, every time I see that, I'm like, it's literally like, half a second too long and my brain registers it looks like he's just t-posing a little bit and then he gets his arm cut off that's the one thing i always think of when i think of like that that little choreography beat where i'm just like oh it just like kind of miss and that, that's what i always think of when i think of that but uh nothing too crazy you know it's the same thing as any other action thing where it's like oh i feel like they could have got a hit there or it wasn't as fast or anything like that but it was still good i still enjoyed it for sure um it definitely got better as it went on like daphne keen was like super awesome you know she got to dual wield which is pretty sick and that was super sweet and then unfortunately you know she gets killed she even has you know a hand-to-hand -hand fight before that against may i was like all right this is kind of cool that was where i noticed i was like oh, i feel like they're doing a few too many cuts and i was like oh man like you just go back to the lightsabers for me but it was still decent i, I enjoyed that and then of course when it actually got to the lightsaber element i was like okay this is pretty sick we have a guy who 
is using i forgot what the heck it's called but he's using i would assume a very specific thing within star wars that does have like a reaction against lightsabers that causes them like short circuit for a minute and i was like well that's super cool that's a, a great way to do that where you know him fighting with one hand they even utilize that where he uses the lightsaber and someone comes to strike him and he just has like a little gauntlet and it's like boom he blocks it but it also short circuits the saber for a second it's like okay that's pretty cool and then he headbutts the other saber and like short circuits that i was like that's really cool that, that's actually a really great idea and that's how they kind of go through the element of uh like daphne keen's character where she specifically does that thing where she like bashes on his helmet to break it off and when i first saw it, i didn't realize that's what she was doing because i was like why did she do that but he used that move on her as well and she already saw it and that's why when she had the advantage she specifically like shattered the helmet because that was like a big thing that he could do like he already has the gauntlet on and a lightsaber and he's doing one-handed so he's already doing one hand except when she came in he's super pissed so i was like oh he's using two hands now when he was fighting soul he was all like you know he was doing like rapier style and fighting multiple people at once he's like oh i can do this and all that and i don't know what she did but i guess when she busts out two lightsabers he was like oh okay i'm gonna use two hands and he just he was going crazy i was like he's using two hands right now he was he seemed angry extra angry but unfortunately that anger uh, led to her suffering and it is what it is great scene though great scene and he busted out he busted out like the little shoto little uh little shoto lightsaber and i was like that's actually kind of sick like nobody's gonna give a crap but me would be like oh you got you got like the you got your full size blade and you bust out the little shoto it seemed longer um because the way they did it I, I will say this the saber doesn't seem long enough to actually hold two kyber crystals i mean technically yeah it could hold two kyber crystals but when he pulled it out it was like it looked like he broke off a piece that was like this big and like a lightsaber came out and i was like i don't know if that, i'll have to watch it again but i was like just when he broke it off i was like it doesn't look long enough to actually be like two full pieces but it was also in the middle of the action and then he you know he hit her with the three short hits and that also shows that it was shorter because obviously like he blocks it and then he hits her real fast like he you know if it was an actual like regular lightsaber he would have just you know they would never show that anyway of course because it's disney plus but he could have just hit her with a triangle move um and just cut right through her but instead he does like the the three jabs and takes her down and i was like oh that's actually very interesting you know something you don't really see obviously ahsoka's like the one character we really see do that with um you know her, her regular length blade and then like the shorter blade but his seemed like it was almost like the size it would have been like more like a tanto blade which is just like a straight up dagger so i thought that was a cool idea i was like that's interesting we'll see if that even comes into play i'm sure it will you know in some way shape or form like once you introduce that it's like you got to have them like bust out like the little the mini saber move so we have to see that happen at some point uh during whatever next couple of fights we get but i thought the action was good and then as it continues it's like all right he kills her it, you know obviously he killed all the nameless people and it's just like Yo, they're gone i think it the episode starts off and osha just looks and sees somebody that dude just died from a force push and it was like oh a super duper force push he was already dead i'm assuming that's what it was because i didn't see any lightsaber marks so he was gone he just got pushed broke his neck or something and he's dead and then everyone else gets taken down uh like the palpatine fight it's just like oh you guys thought you were cool we're just gonna dwindle this down real real fast so he does some spins does some stabs double decapitation pretty cool i definitely enjoyed it and so i was like all right it seems violent enough i like that and then you know it goes through it kills off both the other characters that were actually important it seems like the only person left is you know you got the twins and then you have soul and then obviously we have our, our main villain now i know that we have like the one green woman and i know she's gonna come in with uh like the whip saber and stuff like that so i'm looking forward to seeing that which i thought was gonna be on this planet but if you see it in the trailer or like the little tease that I, i've seen i thought it was this planet because like it looks like another forest planet so they'll be somewhere else that's foresty uh later on but i was like okay i'm hoping that that fight is really cool too and then there's supposed to be some other thing that's actually really cool as well so i thought the action was good you know a couple of little beats here and there where i was like ah oh, man I, you know i feel like some extra hits could have been in there it could have been a little bit faster but all in all i was like all right that was fun um you know may has her idea or osha has her idea where it's like you know he's gonna kill everybody so we have to go back and so they're leading the creatures back to him and then we see that you're you know they come in and it's like all right he's already killed one person they're mad Yorick comes in he saves soul's life and then he just gets straight up mortal combated 
like he i thought he was just gonna break his arm and i was like oh okay so you know because they do a little hand-to-hand stuff and i was like well this is kind of cool especially the part where soul was like pissed after he killed both of them and then he thought he was just like gonna play around and keep fighting and then soul got real mad and he did like that triple punch to the chest and it was kind of like whoo i think he hit me a little so i like that i was like all right we got some like real hand-to-hand combat i thought was actually just really fun to see so i I certainly enjoyed that that might have been my favorite part just because it was like it lasted longer than i thought so I was very happy to see that. But Yor got his arm snapped, twisted him around, and he hit him with the classic, classic neck breaker. I don't think I've seen that since I probably rewatched a movie from like, you know, the 90s. Cause that's what that's from. That that's like some blood sport type stuff where it's just like it was just a night, a full wide shot, had him on his knee and just went like boom and just snapped his neck like Mortal Kombat. And it was like, wow, he hit him with a straight up Mortal Kombat Annihilation Johnny Cage. Killed him. And I was like, dang. I've never, I never would have thought I would just be watching Star Wars live action and somebody would just bust out a neck snap. That's crazy. Like, no matter what, I'll always have that and that'll be nice. But after that, we have a little bit more action and it was pretty cool. And then once the action dies down, it was like, ah, here we go. Here we go. Had some cool stuff. You know, May gets captured. You know, they had their fight where they're you know may is basically on the run from her master and he keeps basically he's just like i'm not gonna fight you guys i'm just trying to kill her and then i'll come back like don't worry about it i just let me kill her first so i thought that was interesting like how that fight um, actually played out and so it comes down to soul being like hey like please don't do this you know the usual talk and then that's where they hit us with the line and of course i still think they're gonna find some way to just be like oh he's not actually a sith it's gonna be this because i mentioned that in my last review i was like they're gonna hit us with like one random line to be like oh not a sith it's actually this so it's something and they already kind of teased it because they had the woman be like oh he's um jedi trained and it was like oh i could tell that just from a recording so they're gonna do something with that like even though he said like you i guess you guys would call me a sith they're gonna definitely play up on that and be like oh but he's not actually Sith." they're gonna find some weird way and i don't know what's dumber is them finding like a bad way to do it or just doing it wrong but i guess doing it wrong would be like fully retconning things so i guess just a bad like a really cheap one-line version of being like he's not actually a Sith, and then we just have to deal with that being the crappy explanation (laughs) so it doesn't like destroy you know like retcon all of um you know the whole millennia thing so it'll be interesting because you know he says like i guess you would call me a sith and that's that's 100 percent how they're gonna play it but it, i don't know it just seems weird that i don't know i guess it's not weird that he would say that but i was like they didn't i don't know i don't know like i said they'll write their way out of it i'm sure and it yeah you know, we'll see how that ends up panning out but also everybody still kind of has to die like it just like it went far enough even him referencing like i guess you would call me a sith if they say that to Keanu Mundi, that's, you know, that's like the whole thing. So we'll see where it ends up going. Um, I don't think, I think we only have what, three episodes left. I don't think they're going to make it back to the Jedi Temple. That's kind of like the thing, like, all right, well, let's go home. Now that we have like our switch at the end where the twins, you know, swap places, I don't think they're actually going to make it there because of course, even though, and this was one of the things when it comes to writing, this is something where I was like, hmm they switch places and it's like okay you switch places with characters you know they're twins or whatever and it's just like yeah okay sure when you do that in star wars the first thing i think is he couldn't tell that that wasn't her because of you know the force like he couldn't just sense like oh that's a little different like you're not actually my former apprentice you're her sister he like there is no moment of that and you know you could easily go with like he was distraught and stuff but I, that was definitely the first thing i thought i was like oh it's weird that he wouldn't be able to like use the force to sense that's that that's not actually her on the flip side osha was like literally unconscious so there wouldn't be any like conscious thought to be like to track that also they had like a, a super quick moment but he did heal her wound and they they definitely showed that he's like that type of powerful sith where he literally healed you know, it was like a small wound but he healed her wound and that's kind of what made her roll over and then he you know threw the jacket on her and i was like oh he's super duper powerful he already flew so i was like i guess i can't be shocked that he's able to heal somebody else um considering he did like the count dooku float down so and you know he whooped on everybody in this episode left and right and killed one dude with literally just from a force push so obviously he's excessively powerful and we'll see what explanation they give with that as far as sith not sith learning from whatever him wanting to have an acolyte 
this brings up of course a theory that a lot of people have had i didn't really touch on it because for me i was like uh, it just doesn't make sense and it even if it happens and it like technically makes sense i don't know if i'll be interested in it unless it's done really well within like the next three episodes but them switching the twins and then uh osha ends up becoming the villain it's just like ah i can kind of see i could see why it would happen because they're gonna do the reveal obviously it's gonna be discovered on both sides where it's like oh you're not the twin i thought you were and then it'll be here's soul revealing what happened from his perspective to may who may or may not already know because that's like her whole thing where she already blames them but obviously we still have the whole thing with her possibly being mind control because it's like you went crazy and said you were gonna burn me to death and you tried to burn me to death so i'm really hoping that we do get that reveal that it was their mom for whatever reason that was like hey just go ahead kill your sister i'm gonna take you and we'll get out of here because you're the one that's devoted to the cause your sister isn't and then she controls her mind and is like all right i'm gonna save the daughter that actually cares and i'll just get rid of the other one so that she can't be used against us i still think that's 100 percent how it's gonna go and i really hope it is because otherwise she did go crazy and she started that fire so that's where i'm going with it and it's not like a leap in logic to think that where it's like we saw the mom do that uh to torben so it's like it makes sense that she would do that because she was like the tough mom so i'm still thinking that has to be the answer and we'll just see what happens when soul reveals his side of you know things that happen and then may you know it'll be found out which is why i don't think they'll end up going to the jedi temple because i think he's gonna care enough to save her to just be like yeah we can't go to the jedi temple because they'll totally arrest you and they won't want to hear anything you have to say and they'll find some excuse to where he'll make a, a fa probably a fairly bad call not just going um you know to the jedi temple and we'll be like all right we'll 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 go somewhere else so that we can actually have a conversation and figure this out because we're on two separate sides of things so let's find out why you think i'm the bad guy what did she actually see what didn't she see that actually happened was she mind controlled all this other stuff and i'm still wondering because if he gives his perspective does that mean we still have to wait for a third episode to get like the full reveal of what happened to her because he wouldn't know if she was mind controlled unless he saw that i mean i guess it's possible that that could have been kind of a part of what led to the fight where it was like oh you're not taking either of the girls i'm gonna have you know basically i'm gonna take may and i'm gonna get rid of osha so you can't have her and then i'll take my daughter with me so it's possible that 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 is how things started where she flat out says this is my plan mind control the daughter mind control these other jedi probably the kid again and then have him fight everybody and you know things just get crazier from there so we'll see what happens of course but you know that that part is just like all right let's wait and see i hope we officially just get all the answers in the next episode because once again we only got three more there's no reason for us to be waiting yet another episode if we get more answers in the next one it needs to be all the answers it should have been all the answers in episode three and i i'm still annoyed that they did it that way it it's just like it's a mystery show just if you're gonna do the flashback and give us half the answers you just just write it that way don't make us think we're getting all the answers and then at the end it's like we got literally nothing so if we get answers more answers i hope it's all the answers next week because otherwise that's going to be really annoying and it's like we're still waiting again for what two to three extra minutes if we don't get you know may side of things so we'll see what happens there also the twins being you know s you know swapping places may possibly turning bad or it may may turning good osha poss possibly turning bad and actually becoming the acolyte herself that theory's been floated out there i just thought it was kind of annoying but once again it's like she sees the jedi is really good and then she'll see him as bad and then there's just that little thing in the middle that's nuance where it's just gonna be like eh so if she turns evil it's gonna have to really really sell it and i just don't see that happening because all i'm gonna think is man why couldn't they just have like a middle ground why can't she just be mad why would she have to turn full dark side because i feel like it would have to be an insane turn and we know that things are a little wonky but it's like obviously the jedi aren't just gonna go in and straight up murder everybody they're not going to do that they didn't do that so something happened that started that fight and it's gonna be a middle ground everyone's gonna be like kind of crappy but to have may be like oh i'm gonna turn good now that i got your side of the story and then osha would just be like well i'm gonna turn fully evil now now that i've got the other side of the story it's like there's no balance there there's you know balance in the force the nuance any of that so i'm hoping that doesn't happen but at the same time it would allow them to at least have the acolyte name make a lot of sense where it's like oh clearly osha was not really the main character despite being the acolyte herself 
what if may becomes the acolyte by the end they swap places and it still fits so we'll see what happens but i'm not expecting a lot of nuance and a part of that comes from some of the issues i had with this episode where the girls finally meet we have our moment with the twins finally coming together and it was weird to me it seems super weird because last week osha was like hey i'm gonna be with my sister f this why well, keep killing people whatever i don't need to do that i'm out this episode she was running she was straight up running she probably should have said something during the moment where she was having a hand-to-hand fight to just be like hey i didn't actually do that she literally doesn't say that at any point which i thought was super weird to just be like hey remember how you were like hey i'm not gonna do this anymore why didn't you you know she wouldn't have been believed but it would have been like it would have made sense for her to at least try and be like hey i didn't actually do that like my master did it i was gonna turn myself in or even to lie or you know she would be telling the truth but even to have that moment where the other characters assume that she's lying would have made some sense but for her to say literally nothing and she just decides to fight is like you were gonna be arrested and turn yourself in anyway remember that's why you that's what you were gonna do so do that or attempt to do it without being handcuffed and talk about it but it was like just nothing it was just like it it was literally like it was like a full-on 180 where she says she wants to be with her sister she says she's going to turn herself in she doesn't want to do that she doesn't want to be arrested then she argues with her sister which i think still has to do with the whole nobody actually knows everything that happened of course but then it was still super weird because it's like okay your sister doesn't believe you she wants to arrest you which i think kind of fits in line with i'm gonna turn myself in to be arrested maybe i'm crazy but that seems like the same thing but she doesn't want to do that then she knocks her sister unconscious cuts her hair to look like her sister her sister didn't grow longer hair so i think that's going to be figured out real fast when she wakes up it's like oh your hair isn't as long he might already know because she has you know doesn't have the swirl um so i i think he knows when he was doing that because i'm like he'd have to know like you it's a giant swirl on one girl's head and not on the other twin's head so he knows who he's talking to and i think it's just like okay i think he just gonna he knows where he he, what he wants to do because he wanted an acolyte she took off and betrayed him so it's like hmm how about that so now he has someone that could become his acolyte but super weird um they have like their argument and stuff and then it just leads to may being knocked on or may knocking osha unconscious and then taking her place steals her clothes and then goes with soul and i'm like huh that seems real it seems like the antithesis of everything you just said about giving yourself up and turning yourself in trying to be with your sister and then i know they had that little moment where it was like hey don't even choose the jedi just choose me because i think she had a moment where she was like i kind of don't want to be arrested but didn't even try didn't even try to have that moment it was just like well let's just abandon all this it's just you and me and then her sister is obviously still like no nah, you're crazy you tried to you tried to and set me on fire so once again i think that'll be like the slight revelation that'll kind of help mend and kind of lead to some of that nuance i was looking for in this episode where i was kind of shocked that it still felt very black and white of like may's the bad twin and osha's the good twin and i was like that seems weird like they're finally together and i thought they were gonna have this conversation i didn't expect it to be you know every single answer but i thought it would be something in the middle where it was like hey it's been this long we both thought each other was dead it's the first time they have like the actual conversation and it just seemed so black and white to me i was like that seems so weird where it was like not even the element of i thought you were dead you know like it, it just seemed so really it seemed surprisingly cut and dry it didn't feel like two people that had their first conversation in 16 years like i know they saw each other but this was their first conversation together and it just didn't feel like it it was just like oh this feels kind of surprisingly lackluster to me for their very first meeting and then it just went straight to the kind of black and white uh dynamic of it all where it was like oh man it was just it felt like no nuance and then poof like i said everything that may seem to be saying just kind of disappeared and it was like all right not only do i not care about being with my sister because you know she said i have to pay for my crimes which when she was going to turn herself in i'm still confused now because i'm like that's what you wanted you were gonna like i don't know i guess she was super optimistic about just being with her sister and then i guess when she was about to get handcuffed in the beginning she was like dang you know what this isn't how i played it out in my head i was just gonna be like sorry dude and then everybody was gonna be like be with your sister i guess that's what she thought and then it was just like mm, that's that's not that's not real life so she just flipped the script knocked her sister unconscious didn't take her with her didn't just 
just swapped her clothes and left and i'm just like i don't know where that's gonna lead it should be interesting um soul's whole thing was like hey i'll explain it to you and everybody's dead now and he thinks it's just he failed to get the sister he failed to stop the sith you know the the evil the bad guy lost everybody else and now it's just gonna be the two of them and like uh basil because obviously that's gonna that's gonna be the big reveal there it'll be like oh basil sniffed it out hey this isn't actually uh may or this isn't actually osha so it'll be revealed it has to be revealed it's so easy to do it for both sides of the fence where it's like oh this you know you can literally just do the forehead thing on both sides of the fence like oh you have the marking you're not actually osha it'll take two seconds for them to do that i'm sure in the you know state of absolute distraught that soul is in he won't recognize that he obviously didn't fill it in the forest or anything like that so we'll see what happens in next week's episode but i like the action in this i'm still disappointed admittedly in like some of the some of the writing because i'm just like ah that kind of sucks i loved everything that you know the bad guy did like all of his stuff where it's like i just want to be able to use my power and this and that and have someone that's an acolyte and you know him threatening and you know being super powerful and he you know he switched clothes and everything he had like the the black classic black robe on and all that stuff i was like he really changed clothes but it and that was just funny to me but we'll see what happens next week um we only got three episodes so they i would hope they can't drag it out that is my personal hope is that they can't drag it out we got three episodes to go so next week we should get some answers next week if it's all answers i'll be perfectly fine with that i feel like they'll split it up because it'll be like we'll get have you know we'll get the answers but they'll also still do a little bit with you know they have to do something with both twins because it's like all right well now the evil twins with the good guy you know we'll see and then the good twin is with the bad guy so we have to see kind of what happens on both sides of the fence for both of them so next week should be interesting I'm very curious who knows if there's someone else above you know the dark side user that we're currently with so there's still quite a few questions up in there as to how things are going to play out and we only have three episodes left are the twins going to literally just switch places oship does become the acolyte which once again i feel like zero nuance in that unless she gets like tortured and mind controlled sure but other than that which will require like a fairly decent time skip i would imagine I just don't see it happening because it seems like it would be so ridiculous to do a full 180 out of everything. She seems like the character that would have the nuance. She was with the Jedi and then was kind of like, yeah, I couldn't let go of my attachment and stuff like that, but also the anger with my sister. And then I don't know, unless their mom is alive and she's the person above the villain, the current villain. And then she reveals like, oh, I took over your sister, but why would she do that? Because that wouldn't help her. You know, like there's just so many ways where I'm just like, I don't see how anything could be told to her to where she goes i'm 100 percent evil now i want to be a full-on acolyte it just doesn't make a lot of sense so even if the reveal is the jedi were just 100 percent, they did everything wrong which i really don't see how that could be the case i'm just not getting it like i i really hope they don't do the switch because i don't know if i'll buy it it will ha it'll have to be surprisingly well done and i just don't see that happening where it makes sense regardless of what i think of past episodes and the current writing of the show i don't think anyone could really do that and make me believe it where the character is just like oh i'm gonna be full 100 percent evil now i don't think anyone would logically take that that turn especially with everything we have seen uh from osha's character so i could be wrong and that could be what ends up happening but either way we got three more to go i at least enjoyed this episode for the action unfortunately the writing still is exactly where it was at before where i'm just like hmm that's not what I but still kind of not making sense I hope the answers make sense because May is still the person that burned down the thing and I'm really hoping she got mind control because if they do it and she just went crazy for that half a second that's gonna be wild but we'll see what happens we'd love to know your thoughts on all things the acolyte thoughts theories hopes and dreams all that good stuff for the next three episodes please put your comments down in the comment section below and of course thanks for watching